Hey up. I hope you're all all right. Can I just thank you for all your comments in the last video? Uh, when I ask you about what sort of content you want. And I think it's almost unanimous that people are getting a bit fed up with sort of depressing towns and as somebody described it, poverty porn. There's a lot of people doing it and there's people doing it better than I can. So I'm going to try and be a lot more upbeat and do nicer places, which creates a dilemma for this video because I'm in Rotherham. And the reason I've come here is because a subscriber contacted me and they said that they came back to Rotherham, they used to live in Rotherham, and they come back for a look round after a long time. And they said it was upsetting at how bad it's got. And I thought, well, I know it, it, it is bad, but is it, is it that bad? So I thought I'd come and have a look. A lot of my family live here. My grandma had an antique shop in Rotherham Town Centre, I'll show you that. My dad had his first shop here. Not his first shop, he had one of his shops here, which I worked in. And the Rotherham people are absolutely lovely. So, I thought we'd have a look round. And let's try and be positive about it, if that's possible. So I'm starting off here in Clifton Park. And this was a Victorian creation because Rotherham was a very industrial town. There was steelworks and mining. So this was built 1890s, not built, but sort of created as a recreational area for the local community. Now it's still winter in the middle of the week. So this place is closed at the moment, but there's a big sort of like mini fun fair. My daughter loves it here and my nephew. They absolutely love it. There's a, a mini roller coaster there's a big pirate ship, that's new as the pirate ship. Lots of little rides and you buy tokens. And it's really reasonably priced as well. You've got Crazy Golf there, what we've just gone past. You've got a play area here for toddlers. Then you've got the, the normal sort of park rides here. I tell you, if you come here on a Sunday, Saturday or Sunday in summer, it is busy. Oh, you've got the paddling pool there as well. It's a lovely area with fountains and stuff. As we used to call it, the piddling pool. Is this sort of skate park thing here. Where all teenagers come and hang around <laughs> doing the stunts. It's really funny. I brought my daughter here on a little pink bike. And no, on a pink scooter. And they're all big kids all posing. And I'm like, out the way, big kids. <laughs> like pushing my daughter through. She thought it was brilliant. And of course, at the main entrance to the park, we've got the museum. So that was the museum and it's reminded me there's an exhibition about the 40th anniversary of the start of the miners strike and in there there was a, a model of the Orgreave coking plant. I'll, uh, I'll talk about that in a bit because I might go up there depending on how much time I've got. But what a, a sad affair that hall was. So also in there we've got Nelson the lion which has been there for years and years really famous it's like part of Rotherham is Nelson the Lion and then there's some uh, Rockingham pottery now if you remember a couple of vlogs back I talked about I, sh I was at the kiln Rockingham kiln and I talked about my love of Rockingham pottery and how I collect it I've not got that much but I've got five or six pieces and in there you've got a famous uh, what's called the rhinoceros vase absolutely beautiful and probably virtually priceless well no but it's you know, a wonderful thing. 
So I've come round the back of the museum here and we've got some Roman sort of ruins because it was, I don't think, I think these might have been put here after. Yeah, they were, they were from Temple, but rather than, but it was a Roman settlement. I've got a vanilla moustache. I'd like to send a shout out to Y Foods for supporting me in this video. Because as you know, I'm traveling all over the country and I'm always on the go trying to film these vlogs. So I'm like getting, I'm grabbing like bacon sandwiches and McDonald's and stuff and it's not healthy. So these are really good. They're like a meal replacement and they contain all the vitamins you need, all the macronutrients and minerals and everything. Uh, so I've always got these in my me, in me rucksack and they're great. This one is vanilla flavor and it's very tasty. If you want to give them a go, uh, there's a link in the description. I'll flash it up on screen and you get 10% off to give them a try. So yeah, thank you very much to Y Foods. So what do you think of that? Beaver's Lee Flats, built in the late 60s, early 70s, 13 floors, 48 dwellings, brutalist design of stacked simplicity. It's interesting, isn't it? And it's a major part of the Rotherham skyline. Now, as you know, I hate brutalist architecture, but for some reason, I like that, and I was thinking about it earlier. I was trying to think why I like it, and I think it's nostalgia. It's got to be nostalgia because I sort of spent a lot of time. My grandma just lived up the road, and we spent a lot of time around here and in Clifton Park. So it reminds me of childhood a bit. So that's why I like it. If it was anywhere else, I'd hate it. But there's, there's a lot of brutalist architecture in Rotherham. Even New Tesco's bloody horrible. I'll show you that if I've got chance. So if you're from Rotherham, you'll remember there used to be Cooper's Toys there, one of the most famous shops in Rotherham. And I spent many an hour in there when I was younger, when I was a young lad. It's not changed at all. That bookshop's been there for years. It's like a proper market, that, isn't it? It's very quiet and it's changed a lot. A lot of them are shut. God, it was so different in the 70s, this. Market Cafe. Hey, love. How long you been here? Market Cafe? 15 years. 15 years? I've not been back for years. I'm doing a video about Rotherham. Oh, Trying to be positive about it because it gets a lot of bad steak, doesn't it? So, I'll have, a, I'll have a cup of tea to take away if that's all right. I just got myself a cup of tea from Cafe. £1.20. When you think that one in Filey were £2.75. And that one from Market Cafe. Oh, this must be the Bric-a-Brac Market. I was chatting to a subscriber, actually, who'll come up and talk to me in the market. He's got a stall in there, and he says he watches my channel. And uh, apparently they're doing a lot. They're, they're regenerating the whole... I mean, that indoor market's not been touched for, for years, and apparently... They're doing the outdoor one and putting a big roof on, or they read, I think there's a roof on already. And they're gonna move them all out under there while they regenerate the uh, indoor market and then move them back in there. So that's a positive. So let's wander down here. So yeah, b &M, it goes all the way around back and that used to be Woolworths. Cracking shot Woolworths. Right, we're going to have a look at this uh, sculpture here because it's very controversial. They've just put that up. I think, I believe it moves. And I think it's been half funded by Rotherham Council and half funded by, is it Arts England? 
it's a bit of a monstrosity. I think they've used local uh, foundry apprentices at the local foundry to sort of mould it all and, and build it. But it's not very nice, is it? I mean, it's, and that's right in front of Minster there. So you've got the front of B&M there. And that beautiful building, the mock Tudor there. That were Marks and Spencers, I think. There used to be some big shops on here. You'd got Next and Rick Dorothy Perkins. and That was British Art Foundation. That used to be WH Smith. Look at that, it's horrible building. Right next to that. Now this is High Street. This is a very old street. A lot of history. Fantastic street this used to be. These shops look nice. Look at that monstrosity, look at that behind it. Next to the oldest building in Rotherham. God, when was that? It'll tell you outside. Built 1470. Masons. Masons Jewelers, obviously, is not Masons Jewelers anymore. It's a tattoo uh, parlour shop. But that was there for years. That clock face was very famous. That was my dad's shop. It's a coffee shop now, that was my dad's shop, and I worked in there. We used to put all this furniture outside. It used to be really busy up and down here. That was a flower shop. That was a butcher's. And in here, in the centre, and I'll flash a picture up. That was my grandma's shop back in the day. Look at it now. What a wonderful building. My uncle had those shops and my dad had these shops as well, we used for storage. There was a, what was it, like a key cutting and locksmith's place called Lionel's in the corner. There were fruit and veg and there were a sandwich shop here and I used to get the best crispy bacon sandwiches from there. <sighs> Look at it. My grandma spent years sat in that very corner. She had a counter, she had all the bric-a-brac and everything at window. And it was like a bit of a meeting place for the family. We've got Rotherham Minster here, which again looks, it's a lovely church, this. And it's shut. There was a building here, and they've demolished that. There was uh, the Ring of Bells Cafe on the corner, and there were a sandwich shop, there were a bookshop, there were a sandwich shop called Grafton's Travel Agents. But they've demolished all that for a bit of green space. So that building ahead there that's to let, that used to be the Halifax Bank, I think. And I've got a funny story to tell you about that. Years and years ago, I was parked on the pedestrian zone, about there. I was parked up, I don't know what I was doing. But fortunately, it was a Sunday and I'd left handbrake off and the car had run down and it'd run into one of these uh, columns or something. Knackered car up, but can you imagine if them columns hadn't been there? They'd have gone through doors at bank. It'd have been like a heist. <laughs> They've knocked that down there as well, obviously. That used to be, uh, it's all coming back now, Hillards. Remember Hillards? Bloody Hillards. Well, that bought by Tesco's. Look at that. That was the Art Deco cinema. Then it was the 
I think you can just see the, the signs, it was the gala bingo as well. And there'd be concerts and all sorts in there. Wow. That looks like it's burnt, that burnt through. It's been a fire. I'm not saying any comments on this. I'm not going to be negative. It's really weird that there's a lot of these uh, restaurants that seem to have burnt down for some reason. I wonder if there's a fire bug going around Rotherham. You what? Is it three? Yeah. yeah, I thought there were. There's one in Wakefield, isn't there? A lot of burnt out buildings, what's all that about? Well, I can tell you what it's about because those people on the bridge I was sp speaking to, I didn't film them, but I was having a chat with them off camera and apparently the Indian restaurant I went past that was all burnt out, they were growing <laughs> and it all caught fire. So that's what caused that. Look at this building, isn't that beautiful? I seem to remember there used to be a fountain in the middle there, and that was Boots. This is a grand building. I'm gonna have a look. I think Argos was here. Oh yeah, Argos is shut. It's gone to Parkgate Retail World. That's something I need to mention actually, because the biggest problem for Rotherham is that you've got Parkgate Retail World about a mile up the road and you've got Meadowall about a mile the other way and they've been the death of this town. That clock's been there since time of memorial. And of course you've got Tesco, which is a hideous building, but it's just fitted in with surroundings. There's a lots of horrible buildings in Rotherham, and there's some beautiful ones as well. But a lot of this depressing stuff. That used to be Burton's back in the day. Right, this is the last bit really. And this is Wellgate, which used to be a nice area, a lot of independent shops.
Wat is dat, Pires? promised it weren't going to be a depressing video I promised I was just going to do positives about Rotherham but when it comes to the town centre you've seen it you've seen for yourselves haven't you so what I've done is I've come on a little drive a few miles out of the town centre to the wonderful village of Wentworth and it's a sort of detox for Rotherham Town Centre because you won't believe this is in Rotherham. Have a look at this. That's Wentworth Woodhouse and it's one of the largest residences in Europe. It started off as a, a fairly modest uh, country residence in the early 17th century, but then it was expanded in the 18th century and it was home to the uh, Wentworth and Fitzwilliam families. The Marquis of Rockingham, there was a lot of damage caused by mining because the guy, the Marquis, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on some of this, he was obviously very wealthy and there was, it was in mining. So they were mining right underneath the house and there's a lot of subsidence, apparently. Now, the Marquis of Rockingham had a, an interest in sort of Roman architecture and statues. And there's actually a famous statue inside uh, of a Roman general called Germanicus, I think. I think I've pronounced that right. And it was by the same sculptor who modelled some of the statues for the Trevi Fountain. I don't think it's open. I think you can only go on special private tours but we'll have a wonder, we'll see. We'll see what we can uh, find. So you can certainly see the Roman influence in there. Unfortunately, it's, you can't really go in, you can't go around the house. You can book private tours and there's the coffee shop. But what I've done is I've spoke to a lady on reception and I'm trying to set up a private tour for just us lot. And we'll get to see parts of the house that doesn't normally get seen, that get seen on the tours, that'd be fantastic. So fingers crossed, I'm going to keep working on that and I'll chase it up. Absolutely beautiful house. Who would have thought this were Rotherham? It's not all negative Rotherham, you know, we went to Clifton Park. Oh, I've not told you, by the way, it's the day after. Because after I went into town yesterday, I was a bit... I was a bit upset. And I didn't feel like vlogging, I'll tell you, things that affect me. So I thought, right. I'll come back in the morning with a fresh sort of uh, a fresh head on. So yeah, I think Rotherham has a lot to offer. There's other places. There's there's Roach Abbey. It's a bit too far away. Absolutely beautiful uh, old ruins. You've got. Yesterday I talked about the Orgreave. Uh, coking plant where there was all those terrible riots in the 80s but that now has been completely redeveloped and it's the advanced manufacturing park and you've got like McLaren and uh, Rolls-Royce and companies like that there 
So that's quite good. I'm just going to have a walk down to one of my favourite churches and it's been on some of my other videos but I do love it. It's a, a bit foggy today so it's not best for filming. But it's Wentworth Church. You need to come to the village of Wentworth. So you've got the Wentworth house and if you book on one of those tours then go to the garden centre if that's your thing. It's not my thing. Walk around the village, a beautiful village and some good pubs and then walk down this path to the church. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bit of a mixed bag for you. Uh, if you did like it, please like, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm just going to have a moot around this uh, graveyard because I'm a bit strange like that. And I uh, will see you in the next video, which I'm trying to think that might have Helen in. If it's not the next one, it'll be the one after. But she's coming up soon in one of the upcoming videos. All right, see you there.